So please tell us your name and your roll number for this exam. Uh, sir, my name is Dipendra Singh Rathod and uh, my roll number is one triple zero four one. Now, with, uh, without telling your name, please give us a brief introduction. Uh, sir, I am from uh, Baripada, Mayurbanj district. Uh, uh, I have completed uh, my schooling from Jawahar Navde Vidyale, Sarwani Mayurbanj, and then I pursued my bachelor in science. And uh, then uh, I did uh, uh, three years uh, uh, bachelor in laws. And thereafter, I have been preparing for the uh, judiciary. Judiciary, and now I am before you, sir. Okay. Um, so we'll concentrate on your optional subjects today. So let us go to thoughts first. So can you tell me uh, in simple terms what is the meaning of a tort and uh, how it is uh, different from a crime? Uh, sir, tort is a civil wrong uh, for which uh, the remedy can, can be shown in the uh, uh, civil court, sir. Uh, why, sir, uh, when we deal with the crime, crime is an offense against the society and uh, for which uh, the criminal justice system is followed, sir. What is the concept of vicarious liability in tort? Uh, sir, the vicarious liability, uh, sir, uh, general rule is that uh, one who does an act, uh, he is liable for his own act. Uh, but, sir, uh, vicarious liability is an exception to it, uh, where uh, one person is liable for the act of another, uh, such as uh, the principal is liable uh, for the act of the agent. Suppose uh, a servant, he commits a theft, okay, but the goods are not bailed to the master. In that case, will, will there be vicarious liability of the master? No, sir. Uh, in this case, there will be no liability uh, because uh, the uh, the first thing is that act must be done in the discharge of his duties, and uh, uh, the act must be uh, according the act must be according uh, to the uh, the work uh, that has been uh, given to the servant, sir. Okay. Under Indian law, is the husband liable for wife's tort? No, sir. Uh, there is no such liability, sir, under Indian law, as uh, they are uh, both different persons, sir. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, what are the ingredients, essentials, okay, of a tort? Uh, sir, uh, the essentials of the torts uh, are uh, that there must be a wrong on the part of a person uh, that is civil wrong, and uh, the other person uh, must suffer a legal injury uh, because of the uh, wrong committed by the person. Okay. And what about the vicarious liability of the state? Sorry, sir, I'm not able to recall it right now. Okay, in your taught, uh, you know, in your study taught, you might have heard of a case known as the wagon mound case. Do you remember wagon mound case? Uh, sir, I have heard, but I'm not able to recall it right now, sir. Okay, just, uh, just tell me what is the concept of remote damage and proximate damage. Sorry, sir, I'm not able to recall it. Okay. Um, is there any concept of slander and libel in Indian law? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, the defamation, sir, are the, the defamation of the two types. Uh, it, it can be the slander or it can be libel, sir. Uh, the slander that is of the uh, oral form, or we can say that the libel is uh, uh, that is of the permanent that is written form, sir. Uh, sir, uh, in India, both are punished. Uh, both are. Uh, uh, attract the civil uh, liability, sir. So let us then go to uh, IPC. So, what do you mean by abatement and what are the modes of abatement? Uh, sir, abatement means uh, when a person. Uh, uh, when a person uh, uh, sir, I want to take few moments, sir. For oh, yeah, you can use your own words and say that. Don't need the exact bookish language. Only the concept is sufficient. Sir, uh, the, the, the abatement means uh, the, when one person instigates uh, other persons uh, to do in uh, criminal act, sir. 
and uh, sir uh, there are three modes of it uh, one is uh, that of instigations uh, and uh, the other is a bit paid by a bit paid by conspiracy and uh, the uh, the third one is the abatement by uh, uh, so i am not able to recall the third one sir okay it's fine what is the what are the penal provisions for abatement especially in abatement of suicide of child or insane person as given in section 305 of ipc sir uh, sir means uh, i am not getting the question sir could you please repeat it sir oh okay okay uh, so what are the various uh, uh, crimes against property that you know and uh, also tell me uh, what are the types of aggravated theft yes sir uh, sir uh, the crimes against property are uh, such as the theft uh, and uh, the uh, robbery or uh, uh, dakati extortions or uh, criminal breach of uh, the trust or uh, misappropriation of the property and cheating and uh, sir uh, it's agree with the theft uh, is the, the, the theft is defined under section 378 and uh, the punishment is given under 379 by the aggravated form of the theft uh, is provided in the 380 uh, that is uh, uh, the theft in a dwelling house sir, or a tent or vessel sir what is the difference between wrongful confinement and wrongful restraint uh, sir a uh, wrongful restraint is uh, uh, is defined in a section r349 uh, of the indian penal code uh, provide that uh, when a person has a right to proceed uh, in any particular direction and the other person uh, Uh, prohibits him or uh, 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 stops him uh, from proceeding to a particular directions where he has a right to proceed. Then we can say it is a wrongful restraint. And uh, when sir he comes to the wrongful confinement, uh, it is the wrongful restraint, uh, a wrongful restraint of a person, uh, so as to prevent that person uh, from moving, uh, moving from uh, behind a circumscribing limit, sir. Okay. Uh, what is the difference between uh, abduction and kidnapping? uh sir uh, kidnapping are of the two types uh, it can be from uh, the lawful uh, guardian uh, uh, lawful guardianship or uh, the kidnapping uh, from india in case of the kidnapping or uh, the kidnapping lawful guardian it is of the minor or unsound mind person uh, while sir abductions uh, can be of any persons and in the kidnapping there is uh, taking or enticing away uh, while in the sir uh, abduction uh, I, the the abductor uh, by force compel any person or by inducement Uh, by wonderful means induce any persons to move from one place and uh, sir abduction is per se not an offense uh, but uh, kidnapping per se is an offense punishable under uh, 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 so i'm not getting the sir uh, punishable section okay uh, what is the meaning of indecent assault as in ipc sir indecent assault Uh, indecent assault. Just to uh, give you a hint, three fifty four section three fifty four of IPC. Uh, sir, that uh, deals uh, with the uh, sir when uh, a force uh, when a criminal force or assault is used uh, with uh, the intention uh, to outrage the modesty of a woman, then whoever uh, does uh, whoever used the criminal force or assault, he is said to uh, uh, commit uh, the offence under section three fifty four. Okay. So, uh, what are what are, according to your knowledge, what has been the latest amendment in IPC and in which year? Ah, uh, so the latest amendment uh, was uh, in the two thousand eighteen, uh, by virtue of the amendment act of the two thousand thirteen, and there has been a uh, uh, amendment uh, in the rape law, sir. Okay. Under three seventy six, sir. Okay. What is the difference between cheating and mischief? Ah, uh, sir, ah, uh, cheating ah uh, is defined in the sir section ah uh, ah uh, four hundred fifteen. Ah, uh, it means ah uh, whoever by ah uh, deceitful means ah uh, cause any person ah uh, to ah uh, do an an act which the person would not do or ah uh, omit the person to ah uh, do a omit person from doing an act which the person would otherwise do or cause the person ah. Uh, uh, cause the person uh, to deliver a property to any other person 
why sir mischief uh, uh, is defined under section 425 uh, is uh, so is also a property offense uh, by which uh, means uh, damages or uh, some harms are uh, done to the property sir okay what do you mean by criminal trespass uh sir uh, criminal trespass means uh, trespass uh, to the property of a person in order uh, uh, sir uh, criminal trespass means uh, trespass uh, by a person uh, uh, sir in order to cause uh, the, uh, the the inhabitant uh, the annoyance fear or uh, yes sir okay suppose a person is dead okay and someone uh, basically defames the dead person so what is how ipc deals with that defamation uh, of a dead person yes, sir uh, sir uh, section uh, 499 of indian penal code uh, defines uh, the uh, the defamation, uh, defamation uh, as a imputation with intent to harm the reputation of a person uh, or with knowledge uh, that uh, such imputation will likely to harm the re uh, reputation of a person and sir so the person includes the dead person uh, when uh, if uh, sir explanation of the 499 clearly uh, provides that uh, in case if the imputations are of such nature uh, that uh, uh, made in respect of a deceased person that if he would uh, alive could cause uh, the defamation uh, of him or uh, it is for the purpose of uh, hurting uh, the uh, family family members of the deceased person sir okay uh, have you heard the term judicial activism yes sir so what is the difference of so just explain what is judicial activism and judicial overreach uh sir uh, judicial activism uh, when sir sir uh, when uh, the the court uh, especially the supreme court or the high court while exercising its power uh, uh so moto uh, so moto uh, uh, decide a point of law on which uh, there is a, a no prescribed law is there and uh, Uh, for example, sir, the Visaka guidelines were laid down uh, uh, for the sexual harassment of workplace. Why, sir, a uh, judicial overreach is not permissible uh, because uh, it would be the interference of the judiciary uh, in the area of the sir, legislature, sir. Okay, fine. So, uh, have you heard this uh, doctrine of colorable legislation? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, sir, uh, as per this doctrine, uh, this doctrine provides that uh, uh, this is based on the principles that uh, what cannot be done directly cannot be uh, done indirectly. Uh, when uh, an authority has uh, no power uh, uh, to pass an order, uh, then uh, it cannot indirectly pass an order on that matter. Okay. Um, in contract act, uh, just tell me what is the uh you know uh, simply just explain the doctrine of part performance sir doctrine of the part performance is uh, given given in the uh, tp section uh, 52a of the transfer of property act sir okay sir you asked me in the sir tp or sir indian not act sir Yes, Gen generally speaking, what is this doctrine of part performance? Okay, sir. Sorry, sir. Uh, sir, uh, the doctrine of the part performance uh, is given in the sir uh, section fifty uh, two uh, a of the transfer of property act. Uh, provides sir uh, provides that uh, uh, when there is a con when there is a uh, contract between the party uh, for the transfer of a property, immobile property, and uh, the the other party the transferee means that it is a mere agreement. Uh, the actual uh, transfer is not taking place. and uh, the transferee uh, uh, in order to give effect uh, to that agreement has taken the position or has uh, done uh, some act in pursuance of the agreement uh, uh, then uh, the person uh, cannot uh, deny the person cannot uh, deny the performance of the uh, contract sir okay uh, what is a quasi contract given uh, from the sorry sir uh sir quasi contract are are the special type of contract in which uh, the is in the ordinary contract we have the essentials is laid down in the section 10 uh, while sir in the quasi contract no such essentials are required uh, these are uh, for the benefit of some person uh, so these are uh, these are uh, is provided in the section 62 68 to 72 deals with the quasi contract we said that uh, when a person is in need and other person uh, supply the necessity 
then in such case uh, there is a contract uh, between the two persons uh, so he is uh, though there is no formal contract uh, but he is uh, entitled to receive back uh, the uh, the expenses sir okay fine so that will be the end of the interview so feedback hela thik apan ko content of the uh, answer is very good almost all the questions are able to answer and yes, इंटरव्यूर sections and concepts which other most of the other students were not able to answer you are answering it so that is very good so just ensure your content is good your yes. flow of speech is good your yes. flow of voice is good okay so from yes, there that point there is no uh, problem but only thing is don't be too serious right yes, so yes, you sir. try yes, to in the when you are giving the mirror interviews now so yes, just sir. concentrate on the maintenance of the smile throughout the interview so yes, okay sir. if you can do that you will get very good marks in interview uh, at least in the top 10 percentile you will get uh, the marks in the interview okay yes, so yes, just keep uh, that in mind right uh, sir sir few questions i have few questions sir huh. uh, sir uh, whether sir means uh, sir how to do eye contact sir as i missed your uh, offline session sir eye contact is basically see there will be three or four members since we yes, have only sir. one board so there is there is a chance that four members three will be there minimum four yes, might be there we don't know okay yes, so <laughs> the person who asks you the question you look at his eyes for 80% of time yes, because sir. if you look at his eyes for 100% it will become monotonous right yes, others sir. will feel ignored right yes, so sir, yes. 80% you the line of sight will be the eyes of the person who has asked the question Rest twenty percent time. You can just look at the eyes of the others. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. So that is uh, the best way of eye contact. Yes, sir. So uh, that everyone feels that yes, they sir. all are involved in that particular discussion. Yes, sir. And sir, uh, when uh, sir, uh, I mean, Namaskar, just a little bit more, sir. Sir, I mean, Namaskar, just a little bit more. Sir, sir, individually, sir, sir. No, 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 no. Apna generally. board ko namaskar karanti okay you just see if there is a lady member in the board so there yes, will sir. be two situations number one all are male so if yes, all sir. are male then you can go and just say namaskar sir and you can look at everyone like if there are three people you don't say sir namaskar sir namaskar and sir yes, namaskar yes, sir. Right? same yes, thing sir. if you if you go for good morning sir so you won't say good morning sir three times right yes, so yes, told once but you look at the eyes of all the people okay and yes. if second case if there is one at, at least one or more lady members so if there are lady members irrespective of irrespective of the fact that whether they are the chairman of the board or not you have yes, to sir. greet them first okay yes, so sir. if there one because now in the opc uh, opc members one madam is there okay yes sir yes sir and so so if you are in a board in which there is a lady member first greet her okay namaskar madam then you can say namaskar sir and look at the other two or three people in their eyes but you don't yes. need to do that individually for all yes sir yes, yes sir hmm. uh, sir also should i wear the should i wear the glass or matlab glasses or it will be fine without glasses sir nothing nothing like that if you are comfortable you wear your glasses because we don't know uh, suppose yes, they tell you to write something or you know so that yes, is sir. not a negative wearing the glasses that is not if it is a medical condition it is yes, not sir. a negative right so yes, uh, sometimes you they don't normally do it if they give you a piece of paper and they do uh, ask you to write something or you know it's better yes, to be prepared so you can use your specs there is no issue with that okay sir and sir uh, the means i i am not able to answer all the questions uh, so means uh, if i think sir you okay, see you don't expect to answer all questions yes sir if they are asking you 12 questions because the average time as per the number of candidates who are there is 12 to 15 minutes per uh, candidate okay in 15 yes, minutes they let's say they'll ask you 18 to 20 questions let's say yes sir and uh, if you are even answering 10 of them properly that is fine 
factual questions actually you know it does not matter a lot yes, you sir. have remembered the sections very well even remote sections but suppose yes, they ask you a question you know the concept but yes, due to yes, pressure sir. or uh, due to some reason you don't remember the section tell yes, them sir. the concept they are more interested in the concept okay yes, and if you remember the section tell them the section otherwise it does not matter because uh, so it is not possible to remember all sections yes sir uh, sir actually my odia is not uh, that much uh, means uh, i cannot no uh, interview uh, for judicial service mostly is not in odia but uh, the rule is that yes sir the, la the language in which they will ask you the question you yes, need sir. to reply in that language so suppose they ask you apna ji kon khai ke aschanti so yes, you sir. are expected to answer in odia yes so sir easier, but mostly they prefer english Okay. Yes, sir. If they ask any questions in uh, means uh, regarding regarding the law, uh, and I am not able to frame answer in Odia, then I may I uh, short permission from them uh, to frame it in English. Yes, you can. Whatever uh, you, if you want to deviate on something, so they have asked the yes, question sir. in Odia, and you want to speak in English, take their permission, and there is there is no issue. Okay, sir. Uh, sir, one more interview you will take, or sir, this is final one, sir. Yeah. No, no. We can take one more. It's not an issue. since okay, you could sir. not come for the panel okay yes, uh, yes. We, we can have another interview there is not an issue you let okay. me know when you are comfortable so your interview is on first day seven huh? yes sir on seven sir yes sir first half so today is third so yes. let's say seven means sixth and uh, uh, fifth you can practice of your own so if you are free tomorrow we can have or fifth we can have sir fifth, i will be comfortable okay so you. one day you take and you brush up the other things on yes, fifth week and okay so after yes, the interview just to whatsapp me i'll okay. give you the uh, exact time okay sure sir sure sir no sir no sir